And you've been getting extra rest? Are there many more of these questions? I see. Yes, that... Take good care of yourself, and you won't have to see too much of me. You wanted to see me? I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. What did you hear? Dr. Fillmore's report was quite thorough. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you, regardless. The Brotherhood is an issue for the future, and we must focus on the present. And look at me, rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once. Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. What do you mean by that? What's happened? Well, while you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to... invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your minute. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. I don't know if I can settle this peacefully. There may not be an easy solution to this. They are your people, are they not? They follow you? Then they should listen to you. If they cannot see reason, well... I'm afraid that may put you in a difficult position. But please, hurry, before the situation deteriorates. Yes? What's going on here? You're an unexpected surprise. We could use the backup. These Institute bastards aren't getting away. They'll have to go through us to get out of there. We don't know quite what we're up against, but it's good you're here to help. Uh, how did you hear about this? I'm not sure you know what's going on here. This situation is... complicated. Oh, I know exactly what's going on. These assholes think they can kidnap whoever they want whenever they want. Well, not today. Not while we're here. So, how do you want to play this? We thought about trying to lure them out here, since it'd be easier to kill them. But then we realized we probably ought to storm the place to make sure they can't disappear on us. That makes sense, right? So, you want to lead the charge? Have your men hold their ground. I'll go in and assess the situation. I don't think that's a good idea. Sir, we have to act now. Or else we risk not only letting them get away, but taking one of ours with them. I wouldn't wish that fate on anyone. Are you gonna lead us in there, or what? This whole thing is just a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Can't wait to hear this. Explain to me how this is a misunderstanding. 
The Institute wants the same things you do. We can find a way to work together. I don't know about that, but look, if nothing else, you'd best get in there and make sure that man's okay. I'll make sure no one makes a move on him in the meantime. But, well, you'd better be right about this. starting to worry we might not make it out of this mess. How exactly did this happen? I'm not suited for field work. I've said that over and over, and they sent me anyway. There was no indication that Wallace had been in contact with anyone or was aware that we might be watching him. If I'd known, I'd... I don't know. Maybe I'd have tried to handle things differently. I know he's potentially important to Phase 3 and all, but I'm not sure it's worth putting ourselves in harm's way. Why did the Institute send you, specifically? They thought I'd be able to relate to him, with my scientific background. So much for that plan. I know they've been keeping an eye on him for years. Not sure how they originally found him, but probably don't want to know. But once they realized how smart he was and what an asset he could be for Phase 3, they watched pretty closely. I think they even fed him scientific material from time to time to see how good he was, you know, testing him to see if he was Institute material. Let's just get Wallace and get out of here. What does this Wallace guy have to do with Phase 3? Wallace is, well, brilliant by all accounts. Like nothing we'd seen in the Commonwealth prior. He truly has a gift when it comes to theoretical physics. He'd be an asset to the Institute, specifically in getting the reactor running. With his help, we could accelerate the timetable immensely. There's just, well, there's a slight problem with that. He doesn't want to go with us. I was thinking, maybe you could try and talk to him. <sighs> Any advice on how to talk to him? Don't make him angry. Let him know we're not going to hurt him. In fact, his life would improve considerably. Mr. Wallace, I'm here to talk to you. You're another one of, uh, of them, aren't you? Are you a robot? Please, try and relax. I know this is an unusual situation. No! You're here to kidnap me! That's what you people do, isn't it? If you even are people. I've heard all the stories. I know exactly what happens to people when the Institute shows up. Well, it's not happening to me. What can I say to convince you that we're not going to hurt you? That you're leaving and never coming back. Hey, just calm down, okay? I just want to talk to you. Fine, fine. What do you want from me? Mr. Wallace, would you be willing to help the Institute? Help the Institute? But aren't, aren't they, you, I'm, I'm the bad guys? The Institute has an engineering problem that your scientific expertise could help solve. In exchange for helping us out, you'd be granted access to the most advanced research facility imaginable. Whatever research you wanted to perform, anything, it's possible there. I promise. You'd be safe and secure in a way that's completely impossible anywhere else. You have a better option than what we're offering you? No. No, I guess I don't. Okay, fine. I'll go. You must be pretty excited being named the next director. <sighs> okay. I think we've got this under control now. Thanks. I mean, thanks for the assist. You're gonna bring him in immediately, right? Oh, yeah. Don't want him to start second-guessing the decision. I'll see you back in the Institute.
Hi, Doc. I'm looking forward to working for you, future director. Yes? Excuse me. General. Hey, General. Uh, <clears throat> Hello, sir. Cannot express how pleased I am. Our new guest is familiarizing himself with his surroundings, yet he's already pointed out several inefficiencies in our methods. With his help, Phase 3 will be ready in no time. And it's all thanks to you. A lot of work went into this before I even arrived. Just how close are we? It shouldn't take long at all. The facilities division has it well in hand. There is one more part for you to play, and I think you might enjoy it. It is time to announce our presence to the Commonwealth, to request that they do not interfere with our plans. You should be the one to do it. What kind of announcement are we talking about? A broadcast. An announcement to the Commonwealth that the Institute is not to be trifled with. As the incoming director, that responsibility naturally falls to you. We've prepared some remarks for you to record. Once you're finished, we'll broadcast them to the entire Commonwealth. Use the microphone here and follow the script. It's quite simple. I'm sure you'll do fine, Father. John. If you could, please finish up the speech. We'll need the final recording before we go too much further. For years now, you have suspected that the Institute still exists. That we are among you. It is true. But it is not the whole truth. We're here. And we are. here to help. Our superior technology represents the future of the Commonwealth. Today, we activate our nuclear reactor, ensuring that we will persevere long after the world above ground ceases to exist. Ensuring that mankind has a future. We have no desire to interfere in the unimportant details of your... personal freedoms. We simply insist that you do not interfere with Institute operations. To do so would result in... Tragedy for all involved. Rest easy. Know that the future is... Underground, and that mankind will thrive under our guidance. Well, that was interesting. Perhaps not what we originally intended, but it will certainly get your point across. Now it's time to make sure that everyone hears it. How would you feel about making a little trip to Diamond City? 
I could use some fresh air. A quaint phrase. Though I'm afraid the air there is anything but fresh. The radio station in Diamond City is listened to by many in the Commonwealth. If we'd like the people to hear what we have to say, it's the best way to reach them. Before we preempt their broadcast, we need to ensure it reaches the maximum range possible. I've been assured that the necessary parts are on site. You'll just need to install them to boost the broadcasting power. Report back when you're done. We should be ready by then. Um, hi, there. Travis. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi, again, uh, hi, hi. Okay, let's try this. This goes here. This radio right. station? In you uh, go. Well, uh, <laughs> well uh, you'll notice there aren't any other ones. So. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. I apologize for any disruptions that my work might cause you. I wish I had more time to spend with Quentin, but I can't be in two places at once. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then. The transmitter has been modified. I'm all set. But what about the reactor? The initial round of tests is finished. All readings are nominal, so yes. 
I think we're ready. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friends, is the moment we've all worked towards. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My father and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. I did good work, didn't I? Yes. Yes, you did. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director. Son. Hello, Father. I hope your time in the Institute has been enjoyable. Our advances will, in time, change the world. I often wonder what the Institute's founders would think of our accomplishments. Expecting you to let us live. That surprised me. Lawrence. There's no need to gloat. I'm man enough to admit that I lost. When the lights go down and the stars come out, the man just forgets about all his troubles. We don't usually welcome us. A lot of us will have a hard time accepting an outsider as our next director. I suppose I'll never I'll be the man to again. Another five percent. I hope all your needs. I suppose. Be congratulations. Let me know. Remember to concern. My compliments on May I be the B5 first to welcome you, sir. To us, sir. We're looking forward to working with you. What kind of work will we be doing exactly? Well, normally the Directorate reviews and approves research tracks for the various divisions. Today, however, we're here for a different reason. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed? Obviously, there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, 
but to project power to a much greater degree. I'm sure the reactor will improve everyone's life. It's a great accomplishment. Yes, but it's not just that. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? I think the last thing the Institute needs now is to make things worse. We should be trying to avoid conflict, not starting it. I would love to see that big airship fly off over the horizon, but it's not gonna happen. The conflict is already upon us. Unless we end it now, it's only going to get worse. We really don't have a choice. If we're to emerge from this the victors, we need to move quickly. As director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? What would the results of this choice be? I'd like to make a well-informed decision. Well, if we increase synth production, we'd be able to deploy more of them to the Commonwealth to aid in our operations. Weapon development would improve the weapons we have available to us now, making our synths more effective in the field. Which would you prefer we focus on? I'll tell you what. You make the call. Surprise me. Uh, okay then. I'll... I'll come up with something. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. To be frank, I don't agree with Father's decision, but I'll accept it. Dr. Lee. We're making real progress. Thanks to you. I wish you could have known Father as we have. <laughs>